Hi, right, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Beast of Logan channel. Hope everybody had a great week last week, a uh, good weekend. Uh, I haven't worked since, what, Thursday? Yeah, just hasn't been nothing going on, so. Uh, tonight, we're heading over to Rialto, Niagara, of course. <laughs> no surprise. And we're loading water for Walmart in San Diego in the morning. One of them down there. Uh, I think 5 a.m., something like that. And then we are... Ooh, look at that moon. All right, and then we are uh, heading over. To, we're going to come back to Riverside in the morning after we get unloaded. I'm going to drop the dry van over at Dietrich for the aluminum... For, for the rail, the steels. Not the rails, the steel framework. And then uh, take that to San Fe Springs on a flatbed for Cordero... Uh, and I'm not sure what I'm doing after that. So it's going to be a long night. But back in the groove, I guess. And then uh, just getting... It's going to be nice weather. Waiting on the Ontario Truck Show coming up this weekend. Should be a lot of fun. Plastic Truck Mafia definitely representing in the house. And uh, I'll be taking the Red Baron. No word on my truck yet. So I'm just not even in the mood. Just wash this on Friday. We'll call it good. Uh... Plus, plus, anything else comes up, I'll let you guys know. In the meantime, <laughs> I was looking for some music to roll, but we don't need to roll the music because this is not that channel. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll get back with you and we'll get going. Come on out. I am in the door. I got here at, uh, well, I got here at what? I got here at about 2 o'clock. No. Just after 2 o'clock. Laid down in the parking lot over there for a little bit. Um, they're real adamant about the times here at Sam's Club. It's actually Walmart Sam's Club, so, uh, when they're, Uber will even email you. They're like, real, they don't want you here early. You gotta be right here at your appointment, so. I got up at 5.15, the appointment was 5.30. There was a McLean truck right where I'm at, right here. And then, right at 5.30, man, he pulled out, gave her my paperwork, backed in, and uh, yeah. It's almost six right now, so I think they went on break or whatever, but it's all good, right? So, um, not too bad, man. I'm, shoot, I'm gonna start having to wear pants here pretty quick. Maybe even a hoodie. Getting, uh, getting a little bit cold. We are in La Mesa, by the way. So if, any, if you guys are familiar with San Diego, I'm in La Mesa off the 94. Between the 125 and the 805. So I'm pretty sure it's, it's the La Mesa area, blah, blah, blah. So anyhow, um, just trying to get this thing unloaded so I can get out of here. I got to go get that flatbed and go to Santa Fe Springs. Come on. Hopefully they don't take much longer to start start unloading anyway. Talk about wanting to be on time, and now I'm waiting. <laughs> uh, it's all good, though. Once they get it knocked out, they go, he'll get it knocked out. I've been here many a times, and they're always pretty quick. So, not a big deal. Just enjoying some cool San Diego weather. All right, I'll hit you guys up uh, when I get over by uh, Riverside to get that flatbed load. All right, cool. Springs at 9.30. They were real adamant about the appointment for the flatbed. So I couldn't 
I couldn't make it, so I had to call Jose, unfortunately, and I was, you know, Walmart just held me up. I didn't even get out of Walmart till like 7 o'clock, and I wouldn't even made it to go get the trailer until 9.30, so it just didn't work out that way. So Esmeralda put me on another load to go up to Riverside, load up, and then take to Carson uh, for some, like, cement, or uh, what was it, like, color, they do, like, the dye for the bags or for the drywall, the stucco, stucco bags, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. So I go over there. I'm like, yeah, no problem. So I go, and then I swap out my my empty over at the yard over in Riverside there, and then I, I grab an empty flatbed which I have on me now, and then I, um, I went over there to get loaded, and that was just a big old mess, it was a bunch of trucks in there, so I get in there, and all the PO numbers, the pickup numbers we had didn't work, they weren't, uh, they were either picked up or they just didn't exist. A lot of back and forth going on. They were so busy though. It's a one way in, one way out place, which I'm gonna show you later because I'm gonna actually go back there today. Hopefully they have it straight today. But yeah, I just got in there and it just took forever. And finally I just, you know, I, I tell, I, I talked to Esmeralda. I'm like, look, um, I'm, it's already afternoon. It was like almost one o'clock. I go, I'm gonna go get some fuel and I'm close to my house anyway. So I'm just gonna head home with the empty. And then that way, uh, that way I can, yeah, I'm going to head home with the empty. That way I'll just start fresh tomorrow because she wanted me to pick up today right now to go to, uh, go to Chino and then pick up for Lake Forest right now. So that's what we're doing right now. This way I don't have to go searching for the trailer and all that and waste time. I'm right now, I'm just heading directly to the Chino yard for action. Get, they'll load me up the drywall right now when the guys get there. I'll take it over to Lake Forest. You know the location, we've been there before. Uh, and then I'll head out to Riverside and we'll try to stucco place again and we'll take that out to, uh, it's actually Sika, S-I-K-A is, is the stucco place. It used to be called Perex. I We know it as Perex, P-A-R-E-X, but, uh, they got bought out by Sika, Sika, however you say it, a couple years back. So um, when I was with Gardner, we were in there a lot. They still are there. They still have a few CRST trucks in there or whatever, running local. But I guess they've been busy. They've been hauling a lot of outside trucks. So that's why I was busy yesterday. So hopefully today, maybe when I get over there, when I'm done with Lake Forest, it won't be that bad. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, got some rain yesterday, too, and some last night. And I'm like, man... I hope it don't rain all night because then I'm going to have to get this drywall and I ain't got tarps and all the whole thing. But it looks the weather looks good right now. There might be some overcast, uh, but other than that, no rain. So we're good. We are good. So yeah, kind of just a bum day. I didn't really get that extra load I wanted down to Santa Fe Springs. But, you know, it is what it is. One of them weeks. And I'm just looking forward to the truck show in Ontario. Coming up this weekend on the 15th and the 16th. Uh, it's going to be fun. I'm going to take this. There's about six or seven of us meeting up so far. I think a couple more might show up. So then we can all roll together and get some video. And I'm going to try to go live. I'm going to see if YouTube, YouTube will let me go live at the truck show this weekend. So the Ontario truck show. We'll see what happens, man. I just, uh, just rolling with the punches, all right? So let me get up here to Chino, get the drywall on. We'll get over to Lake Forest, and then we'll try that place in Riverside, like I said, and take that out to Carson. So hopefully you can make a few bucks today. Come on. All right? So get back with you in a little bit. Lake Forest. Almost done. Been here five minutes. Unstrap. Almost unloaded. I like it. Weather's nice. Not sticky. Not gooey. Like, ugh. Not humid yet. Won't be that hot today either. So, cool. After this, we're going to head over to Riverside. Try to load up again over there. We'll see what happens for Carson. So, keep you posted. I got that 
drywall off, and uh, we didn't have to. Uh, now he stacked about six pieces of that, you know, six stacks or whatever. He put them out on the outside, and I go, "Hey, you gonna put them in the garage or what?" <laughs> you know, in those wooded up houses where they're still putting them together. I says, "You know, you better throw those in the." I would put them in the garage, right? And then he wanted, on the last like four, he started putting them in there. And, it started coming down a little bit when I was just, just when he took the last skid off. I'm like, whoo wee he's over there running around, he's jamming them, and <laughs> so, yep. We had shorty rain probably, not last all day, and I'm looking west right now, and north, little northwest, just trying to get back out of Riverside where it's probably sunny, and then uh, again, I'm going to call her and see if we're still loading that. Make sure we're on the good. If not, I'll go pick up my drive in and go figure out another load. So, stay tuned. All right. Making our way to Carson on the daily <laughs> Carson daily. This is the voice. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. The day cab Western Star. What with a stack even on that def on that after treatment. Wow, no weed burner here. Come on, so weed. Carson. It's actually a clean Western Star. It just needs more cab room. That's it. And it's still on the old body, not that new Cascadia body. Come on. Jose grabbed uh, that flatbed I had. He took it last night or earlier tonight. And he uh, took it over to Carson, loaded some drywall on it with some plastic wrap, which is cool. And then um, I'm going to go, I'm going to bobtail down there and go pick the trailer up in the yard, take that load over to El Segundo. And then um, kind of a last minute request from the company in action, which is cool. And then I'm going to supposedly head over to, once I'm empty, I'm going to head over to Newport Beach. I'm going to load up some messed up drywall. I guess it got wet. So I'm going to take, they're going to load me up there at the job site. Take it back to Chino. Unload, restock some fresh drywall and take it back to uh, Newport Beach. And then we'll see what happens and what brings the rest of the day. And so forth and so on. So it is Thursday. Uh, it is the uh, 13th of October. It didn't land on Friday this year. Um, and we're just, what, two days away from the show. So um, just rolling through the punches. Rolling the punches. Um, but you know what? We're working, right? That's all that matters. So and I'm looking forward to the show this weekend. Um, hoping I can go live. I don't. I've never tried it on YouTube, so we'll see what happens. Um, it'd be cool. And um, you guys can check out the trucks as much as I can. And, It'd be cool, man. It would be cool. All right, so let me uh, let me mosey on down. I'm gonna eat my breakfast while we drive and uh, keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. I left my wallet in El Segundo. Ooh, I forgot about that song. But I'm in El Segundo. Purple. Sweet. Sweet. Humid but sweet. 
Come on. I ain't worthy right here, man. Star power, come on. The DV out. Look at this dude right here. Ow! <laughs> this badass 389, kick your beat. Hells yeah, got that red frame going. Man, I am not worthy. All right, heading to Newport now. Got to go. Good, running good folks as always. We strapped, we locked and loaded. Come on. Two million dollar homes, starting at two million dollars. If if you're even calling these homes, oh, they are. But wow, starting at two mil. I had to walk around this whole place to find out where it is. Turns out I got to go the other neighborhood on the other side of the block, and then uh, find my way around. But uh, yeah. I like to double check, man. I don't want to just roll in these places because the streets are so tight. Get up in there and can't turn around and <laughs> cause a whole bunch of problems. Ain't gonna lie, two million to get your money's worth. That's for sure. Right down here by Costa Mesa off the 73 and Jamboree. Uptown Newport. All right, let me go find this place in the back. <laughs> I'm not gonna like, ooh, a mirror shot. I, I'm not gonna like this, man. Look at this, this is where I gotta go in. Uh, with the trees. Oh man, I'm not gonna like this at all. Uh, I'm like, you sure? He goes, that's the only way in. I'm like, that's lovely. This is suicide. <laughs> yeah. All right, made it back to the spot. Um, yeah, I took that load down in Newport, then picked up in Newport, obviously, and then came back to Chino, dropped it. And then tomorrow, uh, I was gonna go to San Diego, but I guess they changed their minds. So, I'm gonna go load at City of Industry in the morning and then I think, oh, go to Universal Studios. But I think I'm gonna cut the video here. I'll start a new one tomorrow. Uh, for tomorrow, anyway. And into the show type of thing. Mark sent me a video of the, of the, the twin. It looks great. They're polishing it right now, sanding the wheels down inside and out. Looks great. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be good at the show. Mine, I think, is done. He showed me a video of mine. It was in the shop still. The bumper was down, but. Nonetheless, it looked like it was all put back together. So we'll see what happens. I'll get with him later, find out. I'll keep you guys updated as well tomorrow and uh, or on the next vid. And I'm still planning on going live at the show this weekend. So we'll see what happens with all that. In the meantime, I'm gone. So yeah, I'm gonna go load that tomorrow and do that thing. And uh, yeah, um, and we'll uh, see what what other exciting adventures are away ahead <laughs> so anyway all right guys uh i'm gonna wrap this up and then i'm gonna try to post it tonight all right cool all right later